Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this new device that I got. Um, in my work van, I've been experiencing a lot of really erratic driving, people acting kind of crazy and stuff. So I went ahead and went on Amazon and I found a dash cam. Um, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and go through the menus with you. Man, this thing is really easy. I like this little bugger. It's pretty cool. Um, so you got a, a menu button here on the side. It's always kind of watching and listening. Um, if I, I could have actually just bumped my brake pedal real quick and it would have actually already turned on. As you can see, it's got really good video, HD video. So you hit the menu button here, and then this pulls open. Hit, there's a the, this right here on the bottom here. On the left, it's gonna be your down arrow. You just select what it is that you want. I did not use motion detecting yet. I did turn on audio. I did not do timestamp. I turned on my G sensor and I put it on medium. I found that when I was in the house unboxing this, that on high, Man, this thing is sensitive. I mean, but yeah, medium still seems like it might be a little bit sensitive, but it kind of is what it is. Parking guard is kind of like the same thing. Um, it has the G sensor. If somebody bumps your window, they, they, they hit the door or anything. You know, if, if this truck moves at all, it's going to set this thing off and it's going to automatically start recording. Um, it's even doing license plate stamps. So pretty much... As you go through, if, if, if it senses an event, it's gonna go ahead and log the license plate. Um, that's pretty much it. The resolution is, is set at 1080, it's pretty much maxed out at 1080p. Uh, that, that should be good enough for what we got going on here. And it's got the HDR. That The exposure right now is set to wide dynamic. Um, so that pretty much means that it's gonna automatically adjust for the light being com coming from dark to very bright. And it is gonna adjust the shutter for when the sunlight hits. Um, there is on the right hand side up here there is an OK button so that's the only thing I'm, I'm selecting up and down and then OK when I want to go into the menus that's it everything else is set to automatic with this thing um, if you have the if the screen's on you get the blue LED going here if it's in record mode if it, if it, if it sends the shock it's going to automatically go into red um, due, due to saving the battery it does turn the screen off from time to time um, but if the, like I said, if you see the red LED going on, it's recording. So let's go ahead. I don't want to take up everybody's time here. I do want to give this a rip and, and show you guys uh, how this thing's working as, as it goes through my neighborhood here. This is the official test. I have not, you know, used this at all. This is straight out of the box. I'm going to show you um, the box and the label and the name and everything on it so you guys can, if you're interested, you know exactly what to look for. This is pretty good. Now, this is I'm in a straight dark right now, almost, in the shadows. And then the sun's going to come up here. Sorry about the hard shift. Um, see, uh, see, it's, all, it's still recording even though it turned off the screen. But just to show you guys what's going on, I'm going to go ahead and turn the screen back on as we go through the daylight. It's doing a pretty decent job, you know, for, it's only a $35 camera. I didn't have very good expectations. I thought it was gonna be kind of like a standard definition. With very, very little, uh, the white balance being very, eh. Um, right now the sun is straight in the face of this and it is still making out plenty enough for identifications and things of that nature. After, after I get to, when I get to the bottom of this hill here, when I get to the creek, it's completely covered in trees. Then we'll be back in the dark again. So we're gonna go through another another lighting change here right about now. That was pretty good. I must say that was almost instantaneous. Almost completely coming out of the out of the direct sunlight into the shade. It did really good with that. Um, yeah, it's still doing pretty darn good. I'm not holding my my phone here while recording this. It's actually on a mount as well. That's why you're getting a little bit of shake. I've got two different mounts looking at the same spot here. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Now we're gonna face back into the sun. That was pretty fast as well. It, it adjusted to that sunlight pretty darn quick. Um, 
All right, um, here's an another thing I want to show you guys before we, we stop that. I promise you this is going to be a short video, but this is the whole... All right, it's going to do it now. Now it's turning itself off. It's deemed that it, it's gathered its footage. That's how sensitive this thing is, set to medium. Um, I'm going to turn it all the way off. That's the bottom right button on the screen. We'll turn it all the way off. Okay, now watch when this is how much of a G sensor sensitivity that it is set at medium. I'm just gonna pull out. See that, that there was no impact to my van. That that was nothing more than just me leaving a little bit harshly, I guess. You know, I was trying to force it to happen, but on high your voice will set it off. It is super sensitive when you set the sensitivity to high. But um, that's pretty much it. There, there's really nothing to review. It boots up really fast. It does the color balance really well. It automatically records. It stays in standby. Um, I am going to pull over here in a second. So I can show you exactly what comes with there is a huge cord. The cord for the AC adapter that comes with this, the DC adapter, it also has a pass-through for the USB so that you're not blocking up your, your only cigarette lighter cord that you have in your vehicle. This is the name of the brand. This is the dash cam and everything. And I did want to show you the cord that comes with this for the DC adapter. It does have a pass-through so you can still hook up your phone or whatever else it is that you're using through the accessory port. Um, yeah, and the, the, like I said, this cord I, I, is a long ways from my windshield down here, and I've still got probably an extra 10 feet that's still wound up into this thing that isn't even unwound. Uh, so it's probably like 16 or 18 feet on the cord. Um, Pretty good product, guys, especially for 35 bucks, $40 shipped or whatever, you know, your, your situation for Amazon and stuff is. Um, here's the name again. Definitely worth it, guys. Go get it.